What's going on guys? We're back and last time we just unlocked the new game. Let's see what the new game's about. Initialize routine. New game. Unexpected data encountered. Begin data wipe. Purging data deck. Purging collection data. Intro sequence. Achievement unlocked renewal. In the beginning, the world did not know cards. That is, until the day the scribes arrived. Wait, that's... Each had their own method of inscription, encryption to create cards. Grimora used her quill to inscribe the epitaphs of the dead. Leshy used his wildlife camera to capture beasts, like squirrels, that's why he had so many. PO3 used a particle scanner to copy the CPUs of robots. That's the stoat. Uh, and Magnifis, uh, Magnificus used his brush to paint the wizard's opal souls. I couldn't see it. With the cards created, the scribes had solidified their power. Until one day, a challenger arrived to replace one of the scribes. That is me. I am a unit. I am the absolute unit. Oh my god! What is this? It looks like freaking uh, Undertale now. Um, by starting it, it sound it feels like we're playing like Yu-Gi-Oh, like an old school game. A deck to mark my ambitions. We've been playing Beast the whole time. Let's. I wonder how bad the. What is this? Your ambition is to replace PO3 and become the scribe of technology. No? I think he messed with us the most. Your ambition is to replace Leshy and become the scribe of Beast. The cards were added to your collection. What? I want to know what happens if I go back to the cabin. Who are you? Hey. Hey, who are you? Uh. Oh, space. Dang. Oh, it's the prospector. Dang, damn it. That dang old hound got herself lost again. You think you're getting past? Think again. Not till I get some proof my girl's alright. Alright. Uh, what's in this? You pried the chest open and found a card pack inside. You received a beastly card pack. It is very Yu-Gi-Oh right now. Field mice. When a field mice. Mole man. We already know what these cards do, but what the heck is this? 49er. At the end of the owner's turn, 49er will move in the direction of in the direction inscribed on the sigil, so down to the right, or just to the right. Explode Bob. When it explode dies, it creates the creature opposing it, as well as friendly adjacent creatures, are dealt 10 damage and requires two blue thingies. Cards right to your collection. If you're him, that means you're. No. No, no, no fish. No, no pass. 23, 2 and 3. Hey. Stop. Stop shaking. The only thing you have to fear is your own inadequacy. Behold me, I am Leshy Scribe of the Beast. I would consider your ambition to replace me a threat, if it weren't so laughable. We share a desire for you to challenge me, but first... I know what you're thinking. No. That is not my legendary camera, not the one I used to create beast gods. This one is a mere replica. You may use it to create photos of the beast in these woods. My subordinates, the prospector, the angler, the trapper, 
They each require a photo before they will consider battling you. Return to me when they all are defeated. Guess you're a trapper. You should trade. You don't. You don't purchase. Have any, you upper chance have any pelts? No. That is disappointing. I was, but I also accept foils. Uh, I don't have any money, so. Ah, oh, his squirrel friend's over there, too. 273. These are all the other things. Like, there's two damage there. This is fly damage, doesn't matter. Hmm. One, one. Four damage. If I had another way to move this around, I would use it. The drawer creaked open and you found it back inside. You leave a beastly card back. Oh, we got the mask god. Raven, two explode bots. You received a beastly card back. Uh, roll call. Hmm. This play can provide an energy cell to its owner. Hmm. It's a 1-1 one, one that goes underground every turn, which isn't awful, I suppose, but... What was it? Two seven three. Oh. You take a stinking pile of meat from the safe. This faint odor where the meat once was. Okay. Um. Interrupt. Whoa! What are you? The bloodhound. I don't think you meant it like that. No fish, no pass. I don't have any fish. I was supposing I had got to beat you. Well, I'll be darned. There's my girl. I'll let you pass into the yonder pond. But, darn it, we got a battle. Well, darn it, you ain't got a deck yet. Get you at least 20 cards in it. Uh, you make me one. You chose Mantis God, so I'm down for that. Hey. Yeah, you fixed it. Now let's have a battle. Oh. Frozen fear as the words of the great scribe of beasts entered your skull uninvited. Fear not, I only wish to explain to you the deck that you selected. In order to play my cards, sacrifices must be made. The scribe assist, uh, assessed your reaction. Nothing that, nothing that you did, not seem surprised by this information. Perhaps you did. Perhaps you need no lesson. But remember that almost anything can be sacrificed. It may bleed oil or even marrow. But if it bleeds, well, you know what to do. I don't have any... Okay, so this requires one energy. Right now this is an O1. Nothing else is going to be summoned. If I play the... If I play Squirrel, right? If I play Squirrel, that would mean I summon this, summon an, an O1 bunny, which does nothing. Right now I have no anythings at all. Sacrifice. Warren pulls out a rabbit. Rabbit puts me at another O1. The O1 rabbit... Does nothing for me. Prospector last time. Okay, there's the 2 3 Bloodhound. That's what I was kind of waiting on. This, when it explodes, when it dies, everything around it deals 3 damage. That's fine. I'm gonna go ahead and intern there. Dealing 1 damage. It dies. It explodes by detonates. Adjacent creatures are killed in the blast, including your Bloodhound. Another explode bot. 
I wouldn't have made the deck like this personally, robot. I mean, computer, but, you know, I get it. Another explode bot. An explode bot. The battling an explode bot sounds like a bad play. But I have two energy to burn, like, why not, right? Ding ding. That puts him at five. Fair's fair. You beat me like a dog. Take this. Some say these here cars are better in gold. Ooh. Oh, there's the Urayuli. Uh, the buff content. Conduit, sorry. Other creatures within this, within a circuit completed by buff conduit gain one powder. Sapphire Mox can't be sacrificed while it's on board. It provides a blue gem to its owner. I don't know what that means, but there's a Yarauli. It's four sacrifices, but it might be worth it. Oh, all right. There's a pond over yonder. There's a big old something, something. Are you the angler? Huh? Have we caught you? So now we can go talk to that there angler. Uh, hold on. This is a one sacrifice, one, two. These are two sacrifices. I have a lot, 49er. I don't care about the 49er. This is a 3-1. Eh, I'll take a raven for now. Field mice. A copy of a creature's made my hand. Eh. That being an early draw would be awful. But uh, besides that, that's fine. I just needed something else. Fish. Fresh, 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 good. Steel must be. You're a 2-2 two -two with underwater experience? I'm confused. Uh, you're a 2-2 two -two with underwater and moving to the right, so I'm going to throw out two fishes, sacrifice both for the card that I just thought was good, so it worked out. What does a hammer do? Alright, we're even again. Uh, we're going to do that just to win next turn to block him. goes under that should be game without me having to sacrifice anything nope because the two points from earlier all right we're gonna make sure we win now summon the mantis god ting 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 access damage goes to foils which i assume we can take to trapper you you beat you pass first take more warrens, another mole man, practice wizard. I don't have any of that orange energy stuff, so I'm not gonna mess with it. This is getting very Undertale. I'm just gonna walk on that there trap. Patches of dried blood crackled, crackled, crackled as you pried the chest open. Two packs were inside. Hmm. Beastly card packs. Fish, another mantis god wouldn't be bad. I might add that to the deck. A squirrel ball. At the end of the owner's turn, squirrel ball will move in the direction inscribed and drop a squirrel in its old place. That might be really cool to mess with. What's the other one? A thirds. Okay, it's starting to be a lot of that. Uh, but you know what? I'm not gonna leap bot. Somebody blocking the airborne sigil. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mantis God. Squirrel Ball. Squirrel Ball's already a part of my deck. I just haven't drawn it. Um, there was a robot card that I was interested in. Buff Conduit is what I was interested in. Uh, one of the Explode Bots can go. And I want to add the Buff Conduit. Especially if I'm running two Mantis Gods. Like, could be really good. Can I stop you, Rabbit? Because that's all I see here. Like, if I walk into it, uh, 
This is gonna get violent, I assume. I'm gonna walk away. Oh. Sorry, guys. So I have... I have that now. Sorry, angler. You, you have brought a pelt, I am pleased. Yet another turn of the skinning knife. It is time to set another trap. Oh, oh, I don't like that. I smell the hair's blood on you. Uh, okay, not an awful start. This is the burrowing trap. I can't be sacrificed when an empty space would be struck. The burrowing trap will move and receive the strike instead. Also, the bottom to the opposing as well. A pelt is created in your hand. I hate it. It is my least favorite mechanic they've ever come up with here. Two sacrifices, summons bird, puts me two over. Explode bot is good here, but would also kill my, oh, but if I put it over here, it attacks, he jumps in the way, he explodes, I explode, none of my other things get touched. Still don't know what the hammer does. Here it is. But you don't get to perish yet. Mantis God. So unfortunately how it works out is one, puts him at three, uh, summon, sack for Mantis God, and then two, three, one, next turn he summons over here, the Warren, pops out of the path, boom, it dies, this dying doesn't matter, one, two, three, should be perfect game actually. Mantis God's OP. The trap is shut, yet the prey escapes, and the trap awaits for the next victim. You defeated the three of us now. Bless you awaits. What else you got? Another Arauli. So this summons the green triangles. An automation is just worth three energy. Nothing crazy. Oh, I hate that your head turns around. Oh, bless you. I am here to kick your ass. You had bested the unhinged prospect of the gormless angler and the enigmatic trapper. You found yourself standing before your ultimate match, Leslie, the scribe of whatever, scribe of beast. Your ambition is to defeat me, foolish. Even if someone, even by some odd luck, you defeat me now, you will still need to defeat me once more in the final duel. And that is even more unlikely. Steal yourself. For my beast will show you no mercy, only fangs. Oh, you get to st do not spare your creatures. My camera is waiting to capture them at the moment of their demise, and my beasts are famished. Um, I don't think this is a bad idea. This gets to block everything, and then I still get the squirrels from it. No, I don't get any squirrels from Mole Man. Uh. And then I'm going to do... I shouldn't do all of them at once, I know. Don't know what the hammer does. Gives me a squirrel. I'm going to take two damage for sure. No, I won't because Mole Man. And I should be able to do it one more time. I don't want to get touched by this. So bang, bang, bang. Squirrel Ball, unfortunately, is stuck between both of them. I need to capture a photo of that one's cost. That one's cost. One moment before that one dies, I'll need to capture its stats. 06, 01. This it goes, this goes, this goes. Two dies. While still dealing one damage, I'll take two back. Field mines. I did not know I put field mines in this deck. It is not a good card. I'll attack for three, which should. No, we're off by one. Now it has double defenders. This being here is good. 
Ting, ting, ting. Still being able to space out for this explosive. Next turn is where I would be more more scared of that thing. Summon the Warren, the Warren summons a rabbit, the rabbit summons here, the field mice. No! Hit the wrong button. Hate that that happened. Have another copy of field mice. This is, doesn't need to really be here anymore. I'm going to attack over it and summon a pair of field mice. Field mice lets me summon another pair of field mice. Your board's now clear and all you have is a fawn. I'm going to put that here. Attack for four. Puts me at ten over you. So I have to do it twice. You won't be needing those. I have something better. Hmm, even we never did finish your death card. There wasn't enough death. Hope you don't mind f me filling in the blanks. So many O sixes amalgams. Oh, there's a bear coming. That would mean I need to sacrifice this. Oh, but if I do that, yeah, that sucks that that's the one that died now. Because this will also kill everything else. I didn't have enough damage because he perfectly picked out my 06. This being the first one to attack, second one to attack. Moleman moves over once, twice, takes three of his six damage. This gets hit, these explode. Boom, 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 yeah. Not good. Uh, summon, sack. I have no cards in this deck, huh? What does the hammer do? Now might be the best time to find out. Get rid sort of a card for free. My own. Uh, one sacrifice. A 1-1. One, one, and it gives me an energy. Sure. Gives me energy cell, I'm at max energy right now. Uh, that's not good. I've taken too long. Body block. I guess if I really wanted to, I could have body blocked off of it. Field mice is not the play here. I'll summon you by sacrificing you, summon you here, so you can sack for two turns. That's better, but not still not what I want. Uh this doing one damage every turn is okay. Like, this hitting me for six is not good. Uh, I want. I don't have another opportunity here. It's dead. Mantis God hits for three. He'll be hitting me for four every turn. Ah, I'm one off. And then I got rid of that card for no reason, unfortunately. Summon you by sacking you, summoning you here, so I'll be hitting him for one. While hitting him for two, three is what he's at now, so I'm down by one. Two energy, this gives the conduit, which makes a circuit, which I don't understand, so I don't think I'm necessarily doing this right. It's five. Ooh. If I... If I sack both of these, summon this, let him kill this, I have a clear board to play with again. So I think that's what I do. I think I sacrifice both of these, put this in this corner, summon this for two energy, uh, let him attack once, I fly over for two, it explodes, clears board, I have no cards left, starvation sets in. I attack for two, you attack for one. He's gonna have more. Yeah. I think I lose. I just can't do anything about it now. Yeah. Oh, how utterly disappointing. I was hoping for a great challenge. If I didn't, like, let my two worst cards get, like, destroyed. This is really bright. 
on my face. Okay. Okay, great start. Uh, go ahead and summon this. Summon the Warren. Uh, that's there whenever I want it. Sacrifice you. Go ahead and attack him twice. He puts me in the one point lead. Gets rid of his two hitter. He's gone. Your mole man's gonna be more of an issue here. Summon this. Sacrifice it for this. Gaining an energy cell every. T it's not every turn. It's just once a turn. Still puts me really ahead. I don't think I'm gonna have anything really die this turn, so I'm gonna keep my hands kind of. Boom, boom, boom. Mm -hmm. Next turn. Stoat. You're not a stoat. Where did the stoat come? Oh, the other thing I killed. Um. Yeah, no, I'm gonna wait for the bears before I summon the uh, adder. Game. And you get rid of my one of my adders and two of my squirrels. This is only a 1-1, one, one, so this is completely useless to me. I'm gonna get hit for four. No, I'm not gonna hit him for anything because he has that stupid thing. Um Having something that's more sacrificial here will be better. Gives me a rabbit. One, two, three, yep. Boom, 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 boom. Almost die on the first hit, but I don't. So, you know, there's that. Um, hitting him twice here. I don't think I'll be able to hit him twice. I think this is just me scrounging for a win. If I sacrifice this for one free point, summon rabbit get to hit two more times which means that dies allowing me to get a little bit closer away from death I'm hitting him for three every turn puts me at five as of next turn if I sacrifice this put this here instead it dies and then I summon squirrel I have another adder waiting in the wings Another squirrel, good. This lets me sacrifice and summon this here. This turn he dies. Boom, 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 boom. Six. I win. No, no, I don't. I'm up by two. Yeah, yeah, I do. Yeah, I do. Yeah, I do. Summon this. Sacrifice it for the Warren. Summons the rabbit. Rabbit summons that. I have five on board. Six foils gained. The great scribe was incredibly bested. Far away for a light enveloped a long forgotten monument. Whoa. You have triumphed, narrowly avoiding tooth and claw. The scribe of beast was defeated. That you were able to defeat me. Uh, yeah, I can't. I need my glasses. Uh, belief. I uh, will say beggar's belief. I don't know. God's belief. But now I must yield to you. My only regret is that our battle was so brief. Surely the summit of victory is made sweeter by a more arduous ascent. More beast cards. Bear would be good. The grave digger at the end of the owner's turn, grave digger will generate one bone. Uh, mage pupil. If a mage pupil controls no mox cards, a rare another mana god. A grizzly with three sacrifices is a little bit more rough. Another one. More worms. This one's pretty good. After attacking, the skeleton perishes. <laughs> Goodbye. Battery. Battery low. Stop. What is that? Uh. I see your face after I had to see your face after you lost. You're just so bad. It's no wonder we're back here again. And we would have been even sooner if the disc wasn't lost. Take a long look at this face. Hey, Stout. 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 No. Stout. Stout. Because you'll never see it again. 
I'm done being your pet, you stinking beast. Uh, rude. I pushed it too far that last time. Why don't they see to live as a beast would be the noblest thing, even so lowly a creature as a stout stoat? Did it again. You wish to trade? I have six. So I would like I want this. I want this very badly. Two sacrifices for something that's gonna get stronger, and I'm assuming it's eternal. I know this because of a friend of mine. But besides that, I guess I can collect more foils by just absolutely bashing them. A zombie! You're here! Your stink bug! You're here, marvelous! I'm Grimora, a scribe of the dead. Until quite recently, I was deceased. Though, uh, well, is everything still. Yeah. Though I was returned to my former glory with the help of some unlikely friends. If you wish to test your skills against me, you must first prove your wits. You must discern which true marks the final resting place of my lovely ghouls. Found a piece of an epithet. Eaten by hungry dogs. My guess is that's you, huh? Oh no, don't look at me. Do not snarl or sniff, I beg you. If you wish to battle, please let us get this over with. Skelemans. Uh, currently I don't really have to play anything. I'm going to play one to block you, but... Oh my gosh, my hand is so bad. Unfortunately, now I'm having to sacrifice everything else to do this. Summon that, put that here. No! Arts! I messed up. Concede. Yeah, just... Yeah, like, I got every one drop. There we go. Actual cards. Bing, bing, bing. There's three. He hits for two. No! Oh, he's brittle. Right now I have him up by four, right? Got him! I got one more and I can go buy the Ouroboros. It is over, you chewed me out. Now please look away, turn your eyes, and take this card back. Tomb Robber, activate. Pay one bone to create a skeleton in your hand. When a creature moves into a space opposing sentry, drone their adult one damage. Interesting. At the end of the owner's turn, Grave Digger will generate one bone. With the blue mage is played, you draw cards equal to the amount of mox cards. I don't know what mox cards are still. I am called Soya, the middle stone marks my grave. Please do not go digging up my bones. Sorry, sorry. You've had a piece of epitaph. Brought down by scurvy. Hello? You have no offering. You're right, I certainly don't. I gotta go. Bye. And bye. You found a pack of cards. Uh, six bones. A banshee, a banshee will strike. All these require bones. I really haven't yet, yet to mess with bones yet. Hark. Hark. Living slice, so lemon approaches. Bright and trig as a lime. You think he will squeeze a defeat out of me? Only ways I'm guessing that is because he's got a uh, eye patch on. Three points. That's fine. We're gonna play defensively to begin with. I have to wait three turns for energy. Uh, I still live this turn. I say live. I still do this without taking any damage. Manus God. Manus God doing what Manus God does, man. Uh, 
You attacking for energy is great. Mana God summon for three attacks. Bang, bang, bang. Unfortunately, where I placed it. No, wait. No, I'm fine. This summons. Yeah. Bang, 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 bang. That's five. I have eight. I can go get the Ouroboros. And maybe drop one of my no sacrifices. You be to pull about to me first. Take this first. Ye take this. Something, something. Activate. Pay one energy to set the power of Gamblebot rambly, randomly. Oh, I do love a gamble. Mummy Lord, a dead hand. And take ye. And because he bested me with ye, I'll share my secret. My name's Royale. Eyes the far right tomb. Here's the headpiece. Something about ice. Oh, sorry. Seven cost for Bone Hound. The Walkers. That's funny. When a Walker dies, four boys are awarded instead of one. Cool. Do you talk? Nope, you're just a regular skeleton man. Whoa. I can change how I look. I could be a dog person. And there's there was no cure. But now I'm a robot guy. So um I'm gonna go get that one card because I wanted to get it in the original. I wanted to get it in the original run of it. You want to trade? Give me this. Alright. It's a two cost card. Which becomes a little bit more problematic. I don't think I'll be using the adder as much. Especially due to the fact that this card can probably get way stronger. All right, so we found a pirate. We found a guy who was definitely chewed out by other things. All right. Does not hold a grudge. Oh, you wish to trade? Eh, not really. I'm definitely more of a beast guy. Ver, did someone leave the AC on? Oh, come on, dude, it's freezing in here. Maybe, maybe heat a blanket will help. Uh, two costs. Can't be sacrificed when the creature inside is released in its place. I'm gonna go ahead and just have my defensive wall pop out first. Two cost. This dies after one hit anyway, right? Like for two energy and this, I'm gonna summon my bird. What? I was in the middle of my turn. I was a little confused by that, but we're ahead again. That 3-1 is a awful thing for me to see right now. And I'm only getting squirrels. So, I'm up by two. No longer. If uh, summoning this for two is nothing here, we're st well, still uh, getting hit by three. I didn't think about that. Oof. Okay, this is gonna give me energy every turn, so I'm gonna sacrifice this for one. Summons it. 
And another 01. I don't plan on hitting you guys, but I'm about to have to. Pay the pay the three energy cost. Summon to Warren. Summon to Warren. Got him. Relatively easily, too. You won, but now I'm a bit less cold. Oh, he's got an ice cube up top. Take a pack on the house. 13 bones. Energy bottle. Energy play is provided as an energy cell to its owner. Meat bot. Meat bot is counted as three blood rather than one blood. The blood sacrifices. My name is Casey. Casey. Casey Hobbins. I'm from the tombstone on the left. You pulled an epitaph piece. You found a card as well. A drowned soul. Interesting. Guy mentioned something about a sacrifice. I would like to know what that sacrifice has to do with anything. I'm gonna try again. Because I think I went to the left, didn't I? <clears throat> you have no offering. I mean, I suppose not. I mean. Uh, I forgot. Casey's the one on the left. Casey Hobbins is the name of the tombstone on the left. Burr. Yeah. So, Casey. The winner of 92. Uh, hit by a falling piece of ice. The defibrillator failed. Does not hold a grudge? That's my guess. Uh, which one are you? Uh, I'm called Sawyer. The middle stone marks my grave. Do not sniff or snarl. Uh, Sawyer. Eaten by a dog. The defibrillator failed. And this is Royal. He was brought down by scurvy and there was no cure. Right? I don't know about the defibrillator. The only thing I could think was to swap this one. Because the 92 is where I would think 78, he does not hold a grudge. Yeah, I had, uh, should have thought about the years. There was no defibrillator in 17, whatever, whatever. Marvelous, I can't believe, I believe you have proven your wits adequately. Are you prepared? You will not defeat me. We are going to cut back to this one in the next episode as we take out another one of the scribes. We'll see how this goes, gang. I hope you guys are enjoying the card games. I am, as always. I hope you have a great day. And Happy New Year, because this is officially being filmed at 7.30 in the morning on the 31st. See you guys.